you know, things just don't want to work sometimes, and it is what it is. Hi guys, it's Annie. We are going to do something fun today. So, a few months back, I had gone to CVS. I went to the vitamin aisle, and I found something that, for some reason, has been the biggest problem for me to find. It is called activated charcoal. Can we all see this? Yes. There was a picture of me on the front of the News Times over the weekend smiling with one of my friends and you could clearly see that my teeth were so incredibly yellow compared to his. It was kind of upsetting but you know it, it, it is what it is. So I've decided that today we are going to make an activated charcoal teeth whitening scrub. I haven't brushed my teeth yet this morning, so hopefully this works. I want to try my hardest to stay away from those things that just aren't really healthy, and I really want to start being more self-efficient, self-sufficient, self-sufficient, because I'll just, I'll know what I'm actually putting into myself if I'm the one to make it. We are going to make a charcoal whitening toothpaste because I would love to whiten my teeth. All we really need is two tablespoons of coconut oil, which I have because I always have coconut oil. And then I need five of these little capsules of oil and one tablespoon of baking soda. So let's see if I can show you guys. This is what the capsules look like. We need five of them. So I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to share them in half. And pour it into something. Seems easy enough. All right, let's do this. All right, so right here I have all of my ingredients. I need five capsules of activated charcoal, one tablespoon of baking soda, and two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. So the first thing I'm going to do is melt my coconut oil. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out. I mean, I totally have another container of it somewhere, but I don't want to try and find it. I'm going to just kind of Heat up a little bit more than two tablespoons because I'd rather be over than under. And it's super easy just to pour whatever's left back in this little container. I absolutely adore coconut oil. I thought I was one of those like first people like coconut oil, but clearly coconut oil has actually been around for quite some time. Ready? Woo! Coconut oil. Mmm, my hand is so coconutty. So while that is heating, I'm going to try and open these capsules. Does anybody know how to open capsules? Oh, whoa, whoa! Okay, that opened it. That opened it. All right. So, I just kind of squeezed and twisted. Let's hope it works again. You know what? Let's play on the safe side. So I can collect whatever falls out and just put it right back in the container. Ooh, that's a coconut oil. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Eh? Why isn't this one opening? How did I do it? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. That's two. Oh, oh gosh, there's still so much. Hold up. Oh! I got plastic in there. I mean, obviously it's like, okay, that's in here because you'd be putting this in your system, but I'd just like rather not. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's out. Okay. goes back in its little container. Last we need one tablespoon of baking soda. Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit less because I do have sensitive teeth 
and the recipe says that if you have sensitive teeth to just kind of like not do as much baking soda or just to emit it all the way the coconut oil is what is like going to um kind of help soften all the grittiness but it's still there so now you just kind of mix it Look at that. Look at that. So beautiful. All right. Wonder if there's better lighting. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So beautiful. And gross kind of, but you know. Oh. It's super hard. cool. Oh my god. Cuz look, the entire thing has hardened. It said to let it cool. But the entire thing is hardened up. I'm just trying to kind of scrape some off. All right, that works. There we go. All right. We just get a little bit more water and two minutes will start now. I got it on my arm. Got it on my shirt. Around. There you go, though. That's what it looks like. No, no, I don't see much of a difference. Kind of a bummer. Hi, guys. It's Annie. So, it's been a month since I did the teeth whitening with the activated charcoal. And so, this is going to be my review. In this month, I've used almost the entire container of activated charcoal toothpaste that I had made. Um, honestly, I don't really see a difference. That's also because I've been staring at my teeth every single day. Um, when I'm looking at my teeth compared to my eyes, you can still see yellower, white, yellower, white, yellower, white. I mean, it could totally be less than before. I won't really know until I edit this together and I can like, you know, put the two pictures next to each other, but, um, I haven't really seen a difference. Yeah. It's really weird because when I brush my teeth with regular toothpaste, it would take only a few hours until my teeth would start feeling soft and placky again. I think I brushed my teeth at like 8 this morning and it's now 3.30 and they still feel incredibly like clean and with no plaque on them, I think. Huh. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Um, it was really cool, which I like. Toothpaste itself was not very enjoyable. Um, it would get all over my sink all the time and it's permanently stained two of my toothbrushes black. Also not so fun, but whatever. Um, other than that, the taste is kind of eh. At first I was brushing and I wouldn't really like taste anything, but then I think it probably settled weirdly because after a while of brushing, every time I'd brush it gets saltier and saltier and then other times it would taste really metallic. It's kind of weird, but again, I was able to get over it. I just taught myself that like instead, <laughs> instead of like spitting into the sink, I would just like hang over <laughs> and let all of like all this stuff just come out on its own and then I'd rinse my mouth because at first when I would spit it out, I would start gagging because it just tasted so gross to me. But then obviously I got accustomed to the taste and everything became okay. It's like I run and then the bone rings. So I'm going to the dentist on Thursday. It's just kind of like ironic timing. I had no plan on like, oh, I'm just gonna go after him dump this toothpaste. No, I just really like need to check up because my some of my teeth had been hurting for a while, even though it's kind of stopped now. But so depending on what she says, if I have cavities, if I don't have cavities, it'll make or break if I decide to do this again because honestly, like overall besides the whole like tooth whitening part it just like really makes my teeth feel good on a scale of one to ten i would give it an eight because it wasn't successful for the reason i wanted it to be but it was possibly successful for other reasons such as the whole 
actually keeping my teeth clean thing, which is pretty cool. Do we want to see my cat, Ziggy? Hi. See, this is what happens when you climb on counters. You become part of the video. Cheese! No? You done? <laughs> Okay, bye bye now. So, yeah, mm, that's it. Well, that's all for today. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.